hey guys welcome back to the channel I know I've been gone for a little while I haven't uploaded no video for about a month I had to take a break on my truck because I was kind of getting burnt out on it and I mean I kind of let you guys know that in the last video I made but uh, I've been trying to get back to work on it over the past like week now but the weather hasn't let me it's either been raining or snowing or just all around shitty outside uh, I think today it snowed actually last night but the uh, the snow is actually melted today uh, but anyways I'm gonna get you guys a video right now I've got the uh, cup holder that I want to try to paint yeah it is a little cold out here but with the, with us being in the Sun it's I'm hoping the Sun will help it anyway so let's get to it guys okay so here's what I've got I've got the the plastic prep plastic and leather prep sand free adhesive promoter and then I've got the uh, tan tan colored paint I'm hoping that it's the same color as my interior which it might not be but uh, I mean, it's it's pretty close. I mean, it's pretty pretty close uh, Hopefully you can kind of get I mean, it's pretty close and There is the number if you guys want it But yeah, that's what I'm working with right now and Here is the cup holder that I'm gonna be trying to clean and paint I'm gonna to try to clean it with some gasoline because it's got stains as you can see down in there it's got the uh, stains I have scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed the shit out of this thing and can't get it clean so I'm gonna try some gasoline see if it'll work and if that don't work then I don't know what the hell else to try so we'll just continue on I guess so let's get to it guys Okay, so like I said, I'm going to try to clean it with some gasoline. Only thing I've got right now is mixed gasoline, so I'm going to try that. Let's see if that'll see if that'll get that shit off of there. It doesn't look like it's going to work either. It's not working. My hands are freezing. It's like 30 some degrees out here. <clears throat> I know I didn't really scrub scrub it too good, but I was just mainly doing it to see if it would take anything off of it, and no, it didn't. It did not take anything off of it. Alright, I gotta go grab another rag. I'll be right Okay, so now we're gonna try the uh the plastic and leather prep, see what it does. I know I'm probably getting more lint and shit on this thing probably what than what was already on it, but at this point I really don't even care. Hey, it looks good to me. Good enough anyway. Okay, what it's saying is I gotta add a medium coat of this. Uh, sand free adhes adhesion promoter to the whole thing and then while it's wet I have to add the paint I 
have to add a light coat of paint. that dry for a few minutes and I'll bring you guys back all right guys let's go ahead and uh, add another coat damn winds killing me all right, we'll let that one dry and then uh, we'll come back. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and do the next coat. Kind of laying that one on a little thick. kind of it covers everything I mean it's looking good it really is looking good so now I'll let that one dry and I'll bring you guys back okay guys I'm gonna throw one more coat on it and then uh, I'm gonna let it dry and call it quits on this one and then I got something else I want to try Okay, I'm going to let that dry now, and uh, when I bring in back, we're going to try something else. This is the next thing I wanted to do. I've got this blue one, and I've also got a red one. See, here's the red one. I was afraid to paint this red one because I was afraid that the collar wouldn't, or the tan, would be darker because of the red paint. So... I am going to paint these, the blue one and the red one, because I want to see, I want to see what the color does to them. Like, I want to see what the, the blue color does to the tan paint, and I want to see what the red color does to the tan paint. So we're going to do that real quick. Okay, now we'll let that one flash over for a minute, and then uh, and then we'll do the second coat. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat now. Now I scrubbed the hell out of this thing. I've cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it, and the red one. I've cleaned the hell out of them. But I guess I didn't clean it good enough because it's kind of fish iron right there. So. So I might end up having to uh, clean that part again and redoing it, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I'll let that one dry and then we'll hit it again. Okay, so I'm kind of running out of daylight, so I need to hurry up and get both of these done. So I'm going to go ahead and start this one as well.
it looks like the tan is covering that red pretty decent. That's the one that I was really afraid of. I was really, really afraid that the the red one would come out darker. Because I know like on some, like if you use like a darker primer, I know some collars will come out darker than if you had used a lighter primer and stuff like that. Which I didn't know if I could use primer with this paint. And so that's why I wanted to try this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put another coat on this one. Which will probably be the last coat I put on this one. Now it should that one should be done. Now I just gotta wait for this one to flash over and then get it done. Okay, so it's flashed over now. I had to I had to scoot this one over because it was in the shade. I wanted it in the sun. So I had to scoot it over. So let's go ahead and put a, a second coat on it. Good lord. Okay, I'm gonna let that one uh, let that one dry for a little while, and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so in the meantime, while that one's drying, I will go ahead and show you the cup holder. The cup holder turned out really good, I think. I mean, it looks looks really good. And I mean, here's the bezel here I mean in person you can definitely tell that the bezels a little bit darker but I mean it still don't look that bad let me take you over here and show you I mean you can clearly see that this is the blue one here on the bottom but I mean, as you can tell, it's it's a little bit lighter than what my interior is, but I'm okay with it. It's it's close enough. But I have to cut that tab right there because that tab it won't fit. I mean, you can clearly see how how little that hole is down there and how big that tab is. So I have to cut that tab. So I'm going to have to take it in the house and do that. Alrighty guys, so I have now lost my son. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put one last coat on it and be done with it. And let's get to it. Good.
Okay, guys, so here it is. The red one surprised me. Like, it, I thought it was going to be darker, but I mean, they look pretty well the exact same, which that one's still dry or still wet, so this one's dry. So it does dry a lighter collar. Which, I mean, really, truly, I'm hoping that once that dries, it does uh, turn a lighter color. But, I mean, they do look really, really good. So, I definitely would suggest getting this kind of paint if you guys need to do this kind of stuff. This is... 15093 light buckskin. It don't look like my camera is going to focus. I'll take a picture of it and put, and put it here, guys. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they look really good. All right, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. Uh, at, as soon as possible, I'm going to get started on my truck again. Uh, like I said, you know, the weather has been kind of shitty here lately. Uh, like right now, it's like maybe, well, it said 33 degrees when I walked outside. But that was, you know, a couple hours ago. But my camera's about to go dead. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you like this, please like it, subscribe, all that goody good stuff. It really helps me out. And let's get back to this, guys. Let's get this channel going.